Hey, good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's encouragement video. I'm here in Costa Rica uh, with our partners in Costa Rica, uh, Pastor Alfredo and Eddie and Pastor Leo at Roca Vive Church. I'd like to, you to uh, hear from each of them in a little introduction. Okay. Uh, hola, mi nombre es Alfredo, portugués, y soy el pastor de la iglesia Roca Viva. Gracias Hi. por todo. This is Pastor Alfredo, portugués. He's one of the pastors here at Roca Viva. It's nice to meet you. Hola, buenos días, Parkside. Soy el pastor Leonardo de la Iglesia Roca Viva. Hello, good day to everybody there at Parkside. This is Pastor Leo. He's also one of the pastors here at Roca Viva. And hopefully you guys know me. Uh, I'm Eddie Ferguson, your missionary, your sent missionary here in Costa Rica. It's been a, a wonderful morning. We spent about the last three hours together praying, reading the scriptures, uh, and just thinking of how uh, we can best partner together to lead God's church both in uh, Brownsburg and here in Costa Rica as well. Eddie, could you share just a bit of uh, some of the things we talked about with the English class and how Roca Vive is reaching the community here? Yeah, so something really cool, uh, Rock Point Church out in Crawfordsville sent somebody to come help us for the summer and he has helped us organize English classes. So we have started ing free English classes to the community. And this past Saturday, we had a young guy come out, be a part of the English classes, really excited for that. And somebody from the church who was also taking the classes said, hey, we've got men's group tonight. Do you just wanna hang around and be a part of the men's group? And so he was like, sure, I don't have anything else I, I gotta do. So he stayed, was a part of the men's group, got to hear the gospel, really explained really well. And then somebody said, hey, you know, tomorrow we've got church, you just wanna come back. He came back this, uh, this past Sunday and was able to be a part of that, all because of the connection with the English classes and people in the church are able to now meet with him and uh, already beginning to disciple him. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I hope you hear that. And the uh, first are encouraged by the work that God is doing, but also to recognize, sure, things are different here in Costa Rica. The, the, the surroundings, the trees are a little different than what we have in Brownsburg. Uh, but in many ways, things are not different at all. Here in Costa Rica, they're looking for creative ways to reach the community with the gospel, mm -hmm. just like we must continually look for creative ways mm -hmm. to uh, reach our community with the gospel. And and similarly, just as we're called to take up our cross daily and follow Jesus and there's difficult parts, they've got some really difficult things here going on. Uh, one thing I was surprised by is this season uh, here in Costa Rica, it'll rain eight to 10 hours a day uh, and that will continue until November. Uh, so you just think of the Fergusons and you pray for them. They got three kids under the age of three uh, with 10 hours of rain daily. Kids are inside. Like that's taxing uh, and it's difficult. And they're doing an awesome job and they're laboring and we love them and we're thrilled for this. Uh, but I hope that you'll uplift them in prayer and at Pastor Leo, Pastor Alfredo and the church in thinking of how they want to reach this community and raise up pastors to go plant other churches uh, but also recognize they are very much like you. We're we're all human beings made in God's image who have indwelling sin that it is difficult to root out. It's difficult to confess to each other. It's difficult to put it to death. And we all need to live by the power of the gospel, faith in Christ uh, to continue being at work for his kingdom. Uh, and so I hope you'll pray for them that the gospel will go forward, but also the gospel will be deeply rooted in each of their hearts and as you think of how you can pray for them, perhaps it will compel you to think of a way you can reach your community and a way that you can put sin to death in your own life as well. Park said, I love you. I am so thrilled to be here. I'm grateful for your investment so that we can send missionaries and hopefully send planters out from Roca Vive. Uh, and thrilled uh, for your investment that I can be down here. I look forward to being back. Pray for my flights to be on time so I can be with you this <laughs> Sunday. Uh, have a great week, Parkside. We all love you, and we'll see you soon. Bye, Parkside. Bye. Love you. Bye, Parkside.